Hello everyone, today I am going to share some topics that are the most important for your NCLEX exam. Here I will be sharing so many topics that can come in your exam and I also encounter while solving so many SATA questions or case study questions. Let's start from digoxin. This is the medication for cardiogenic shock or heart attack and the only manifestations of digoxin toxicity are anorexia, nausea and vomiting. This is the most important topic for antlex. Levothyroxine. This is the medicine used to treat hypothyroidism and this should be given at the morning time. For your antlex exam, you should know that this should be taken in the morning time. And for its good absorption, avoid taking calcium, iron, antacids, and soya with this medicine. Clozapine. This is the antipsychotic medicine mainly used in schizophrenia. For your NCLEX exam, you should know the serious side effect of this medicine that is granulocytosis and this suggests the low WBC count and priority concern is lab test that is WBC count. Prusamide. This is the loop diuretics that helps body to get rid of the excess fluid and works by acting on the kidneys to remove sodium and water. If a patient taking Prusamide reports muscle cramp or weakness, then hypokalemia as a likely cause. Electrolyte replacement plus fashion education on symptom of electrolyte imbalance are critical. Valporic acid. This medicine is usually used in seizure disorder and bipolar disorders also used in migraine headache and this medicine should be given at the best time to improve sleep lisinopril this is antihypertensive medicine which comes under ac individual this medicine is contraindicated in case of kidney failure and hyperkalemia and also avoided in case of pregnancy so patient under lisinopril, you must watch for KFT kidney function test and hypercalemia. Morphine is the awkward analgesic. This is used to treat severe pain. For your NCLEX exam, you must know the main side effect of this medicine that is respiratory depression. If patient has respiratory rate below 12 breath per minute, the priority is to stop a medicine and you must inform to the medical care provider and may need to administer naloxone.